If you've been following my story, you know that it's been two weeks now since the FedEx guy delivered what's turned out to be, in my opinion, one of the baddest bikes on the market at the moment. More on that in a minute. If you've not been following my story, I think right now would be a good time for you to check out my last video and come on back to this one right after. So, turns out that on that same day, on that same truck, FedEx guy delivered a second bike. My brother's 2016 Santa Cruz Bronson. My brother lives out in North Carolina and he came down for a week to Southern California to visit and do some riding. And what says welcome to Southern California more than a double double from In N Out Burgers, two rattlesnakes, and a chunky, dry, <laughs> dusty trail? I didn't do much recording because I didn't want to be overly distracted. I simply wanted to enjoy the moment riding with the guy who was right there next to me when I first started mountain biking. We had an awesome time. And what made the experience even more awesome was this bike right here. In the last seven months, I've owned a 2018 Nomad, a 2017 Bronson, and now this, a 2018 Commensal Meta all mountain 4.2 so how does it compare well in my opinion for my style of riding and the type of trails i ride the commensal meta is king it just feels good. it feels right it doesn't feel heavy at all which was one of my concerns in the moderately long wheelbase and reach makes it feel super stable and gives me a much needed confidence with railing burns. The 170 millimeter travel Lyric up front comes with one token inside and two spares. I simply love this fork. It's the same fork that came with the Nomad and it's one of the things I missed most when I was riding the Bronson. Out back, the 160 millimeter travel Super Deluxe RT was another concern I had. It comes with two positions open and locked, and my concern was that the open position was going to be too soft. But it's not. It's actually pretty darn stable. It feels well connected to the ground when climbing. The remote lockout, pretty easy to install and works just as intended. As for the drivetrain, I find the GX Eagle 1x12 much smoother than the drivetrain that came with the Nomad. I had the XE build, by the way. The Nomad, Came with a Shimano XT shifter and the E13 TRS race 1x11, 511% range. Not sure if the difference has to do with the shifters or the cassette itself, but the GX Eagle 1x12 just feels a whole lot better. The brakes are SRAM Guide RE with four pistons, just like the code brakes. 200 millimeter rotor up front and a 180 out back. I believe these are designed for electric powered mountain bikes or EMTBs and so they have plenty of stopping power. No complaints there. The tires, a Max's DHF 2.5 up front and a 2.4 DHR2 out back. Wrapped around E13 rims, spinning on formula hubs. Bottom line, this bike it just feels like it was made for me. Now I'm five foot nine with a 32 inch inseam and this medium size frame is a perfect fit. It's so much more than a trail bike, but not too far to the right where it borders a downhill bike, like the Nomad. It's in my opinion, perfectly centered in between. All of that to say, it's an enduro race bike, which is exactly what I was looking for. If you have any questions about this bike, anything that I can help with, leave a comment and I'll make sure and get back to you. My story continues. Until next time, thanks for watching and God bless. Yeah.